Okay, Monday morning, and uh, it's the first time in a week that I haven't ridden a bike first thing in the morning. Instead, I went to the post office, and I've got this. It's all part of Operation uh, Fix Up the Wardrobe and Get Size Appropriate Clothing. So, if you know uh, cycling in Australia, certainly... Uh, in the cities and big bunches around uh, around our country in the last few years, you'd know this brand, Attacker. It's sort of the, it's a company that's the result of Greg Hamu and a couple of his uh, creative partners who have uh, established a line of clothing which has uh, got unbelievably good traction in the market. So uh, I don't really need to tell you that much because you probably have used it, whereas I haven't. Curiously, although I've um, watched Greg and the team put Attacker together over the years, and I understand that it's got this cult following, and I know that they do wonderful collections of different clothing, and uh, the fit is supposed to be great, and it's actually really good fun. Uh, I've not ever worn it. Anyway, um, this turned up. I said to Greg, look, I'd really like to just try the clothes, but um, you know the catalogue better than me, and you know me and my aesthetic. So instead of me going through and understanding the full lineup of clothing, could you make a selection and then uh, just ping me the parcel? I'm just going to check on the pricing. I think this bundle is $579. I'm just going to check the pricing. In fact, it's five hundred and eighty-six dollars and twenty-two cents for what's in this bag. So there's a jersey, some nicks, some socks, and an undershirt. Now, first class, full points, great big points, five, ten out of ten for including the undershirt because um, it's summertime, and I can't think. Although it's getting hot in Sydney, I couldn't think of anything worse than to ride in lycra without an undershirt. I, I don't remember doing it. I know I have done it, so I know how it sort of feels really gross. And it's just something that I'm not big on, especially when you're wearing bib nicks, which I've done for 30 years now. Um, anyway, so let's have a look. What do you think? I'm quite excited. It's not quite the Jai Hindley unbagging, but I do want to say before I rip into what's inside the bag, that the process of ordering and pre-delivery has been really impressive. So I'm not a big online shopper. Actually, I'm not a big shopper at all. Uh, but if I'm going to get something, and I'm certainly going to spend that kind of dollars on, on something that you wear uh, while riding a bike and getting all sweaty and dirty, uh, then I want to know that it's going to turn up and I want to know once I get it, how to care for it. So number one, the ordering process was super duper easy. Once Greg suggested which outfit to get, ping in, click, 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 then create an account. You get a welcome note like all you, like with most typical e-commerce sites, and then immediately you get the notifications and the, the scans from Australia Post, and they tell you how long it's going to be and that it's going to be processed and so on and so forth. So the order was processed on Thursday. Today's Monday, so we've had two working days, and I've got the bag in my hot little hands. And in the meantime, over the weekend, I've had the chance to read the care instructions, the washing instructions, to get a little bit of a attack of vibe into my inbox and uh, soak up what the company's sort of all about. So I'm going to move in a little bit tighter to the camera. And one day I'm going to change that backdrop, just by the way. But for the moment, I'm just going to keep my favourite cycling photo of all time on the wall while I do these little pieces to the camera. And now, I've got my packing slip, no need to look at that. I've got, uh, let's start with, uh, what should we start with? Socks. Okay. Ooh. okay. So we've got medium, attacker, race socks by the look of it. I should grab my glasses because there are little bits and pieces of information to read while I do this, so just bear with us. Big bada bomb. So, it's all pretty informal, but I may as well tell you the detail. So there your race socks, attacker race socks are specifically designed to ensure that your feet stay fresh, dry and odour free in extreme conditions with a combination of bamboo, charcoal and silver yarn to create the most advanced, lightweight and comfortable cycling socks on the market. It's a pretty big claim. 
With moisture wicking benefits and an anatomically contoured footbed, you'll be treating your feet to the best. Sweet. So then there's a whole lot of information about the bamboo yarn, something about the silver yarn, then a summary of the sizing, and then a breakdown of what percentages of what are which. Ready to go, made in Taiwan. Should we have a look? So, ever noticed how socks are getting higher and higher? Sock height's not really a theme anymore, is it? I remember back in about 2002, I did a survey because it wasn't just a few years prior to that. It was sort of the cycling aesthetic was low socks. And I was curious, hey, what's the go with the higher socks? It was just a random poll of a few professionals and Graham Brown gave the greatest answer. Well, or at least the one that I remember 18 years on. He said, the higher the sock, the higher the hematocrit. Um, if you don't know your doping lingo, then that's probably not funny. But um, anyway, we're in 2020 now, or 2020. And we've got a lot of other things to worry about. And we don't really talk so much about hematocrit anymore because that just just would be the, what do they call it? The indicator of possible EPO use. Holy dooly, forget about talking about old style commentary. I'm going to look at these socks and start talking about the modern world. Sorry, Graham, I had to interrupt that yarn. They actually look terrific. Ooh, anatom anatomically fitted indeed. Oh, uh, I've got the ride socks on today, but I'm going to flip them on straight away. Um, oh, they're nice. Hey? Eh? Oh, yeah. Uh, just going to check the pricing. Hang on, I'll tell you what they're worth. But they're pretty cool, aren't they? What do you reckon? Hey? Eh? So, socks, retail. They're the Race Socks Ultra Plus. And they're in navy, and I've got one pair, and they retail for. This is a curious price. 31.82. Okay, we'll get to those in a minute. Next, no particular order, very neatly packed. Oh yeah, I like that. But I should add no big cardboard boxes that you've got to feel, that you've got to admire for all of two seconds while you unbox the stuff, and then later have to basically figure out how you're going to dispose of, even though you really probably should keep them because there's so much waste. But um, attack has gone simple, uh, resealable bags. Bink. Oh, 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 Now that is indeed pretty fine. Now, part of this whole exercise, I think I've made pretty clear in the Jai Hindley unbagging, clothing unbagging, was that, whoopsie doops, I wanted a small, but look at that. I should have read the order. Oh no. He's looked at me and he's given me a medium. That's certainly a lot bigger than the Jai Hindley one. Remember that? That looked like a little tiny little thing, but I don't know. What am I going to do? He's just down the road, so I'll just check the order. Oh, yeah. It is medium. I should have said, Greg, I want it small. What are we going to do about that, bro? Oh, no. I'm a bit nervous now. Should I read all of the blurb? Oh, oh it's pretty simple. You know how there was all of that instruction on the sock. Well. It's not for the jersey. Just be your alter ego. I can do that. That's pretty easy. Now, first observations. What are we going to look at here? Okay, we've got a little... Um, what have we got here? Well, a little plastic construction. Attack a race, just spelling it out. I don't know if that's going to be a fix the whole time. Do I, is that a quick unpick jobby? Okay, I can't read it. Hang on. No. Hang on. It's all really well designed. It's just illegible. B. No. One. No. We. No. We had one goal when creating the race collection. Produce race winning pieces. A cycling garment. Which helps you ride faster. By. No. Harnessing latest innovations in performance and technology direct from the pro peloton. Be your alter ego. Okay, oh, that's a bit complicated. Anyway, that sort of pops out of the, what would be the left pocket, rear pocket. You have the obli ob obligatoire, uh, obligatory uh, reflective strip. That makes sense, thank goodness. 
And then you have pretty reasonably sized pockets. But, and then a lovely little um, seam, which tells you again to be your alter ego. You're getting all of that on the camera. Be your alter ego. With a, that's the gripper and that's the elastic, but the actual wording is the gripper. And then we've got some pretty see-through sides. Like, look at that. And voila, voila, voila. You'll see it when you get your bundle. It's a neat collar, look at that. It's quite different to the big Jai Hindley one, which was about that high. And uh, that's only like, I'd call that pretty little. Anyway. Uh, what a bummer. I was really expecting small. I, I thought I made it really clear. Anyway, let's keep going. I can't complain until I've tried it on. Maybe he looked at me and said, look, attacker sizing is really small. So, same again. Oof, oof, oof. Let me tell me. Oh, attacker, what's the saying for Nix? Be your alter ego again. Okay, I'm gonna do that. And I'd say that the old race uh, information on this tag is gonna say the same. So I'll spare you that sort of protracted uh, reading. But there you go. Medium again. Maybe Greg knows something about me that I don't. Uh, maybe he saw something in uh, my body shape that decided um, I'm a bit bigger than I, I thought I was. So, and then what we've got to look at here is there's quite a pronounced hem at the bottom there. You've probably got a word for it. It's actually elastic. I think that's the word. See? And again, the only gripper is the same. To be your alter ego, that grips your leg. So, gone are the days, thank goodness, where they used to do this sort of squiggly elastic, which was great for the first ride or two, and then you'd put it in the wash, and then it'd all just disintegrate, and just sort of, after about 10 washes, it'd just be this sort of molten load of hardened, elasticy rubber that was never going to last the test of time. So, um, clothing's come a long, 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 long way in recent times. Re really, I mean, it's crazy. You look at images of 2010 and everything looks like... It's totally ridiculous. So, anyway, I'm sort of doing all of this sort of wondering, oh, am I going to... I can't even pull the labels off because it's the wrong size. At least that's my immediate uh, summary. And finally, last but not least, Certainly not least. Oh yes, I love a good undershirt. I really, really do. And that looks like a brilliant undershirt. Again, we've got size, oh, it's SM. So mix it up, shake it up. And you know what it does, it tells you to do? Look, can you guess? Can you guess? Yeah. So, all right. I've just got to, um, at this point now, work out the sizing and then also work out exactly what my alter ego is because clearly they want me to be that. Um, but I'm just trying to work it out. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do that. So there's a bucket load of instructions that basically don't do anything to this garment. I would say wash it at your peril, no. <laughs> I would say wear it at your leisure and then at the end of that wearing, take it into the shower and uh, do the, and let the water do the rest. So there's your side panelling. And the rest is super light. Oh yeah. Now, sun protection factor, fuck all. I mean, let me do that properly. Sun protection factor, very, very, very little. Very little indeed. So, don't be a goose and go to the beach and strip off your lycra and then think, oh, I've got my sun shirt on. Because you wouldn't do that, it would burn to a crisp. That was a really quite a long unbagging. I'm gonna to have to edit that. Or uh, in contrast, when I did the Jaya Hindley clothing unbagging and I was looking at it thinking extra small, is that gonna be right? I'm now looking at it going medium. Is that gonna be all right? All right. Should we do it before? Maybe without the rock and roll slide, but I'm gonna go and try it on and I'll report in when I've uh, changed out of my civilians, okay? Wish me luck. Attacker, it's the first experience, okay. I wanted it to be my size. Maybe it is. Let's have a crack. Hmm. 
So, that was a bit silly. It's the first time I've sort of gone out of, I've made a commitment to get out of. It's the first time I've actually made a, a big switch in Nix, and I didn't even talk about the crucial element. So, I've been on Quare Nix, or been wearing Quare Nix for a very long time. I know that they suit me. I know that the chamois is correct. And now, I'm going to a different brand, a different cut, and a different chamois. And I talked about the gripper, but I didn't talk about what goes on your bum, which is actually probably the most important part of the cycling mix. And I can also tell you what goes, well, cradles, the other bits that are down there, you know. So um, I'd say, you know, given that this is a men's kit, it's got uh, a little bit of a trick there just to sort of try and, you know, um, keep your bits in position while you're pedaling. So, excuse me for not showing you the chamois earlier, but there it is, attacker branded and all. Hopefully that's going in focus. Are you there, camera? All right, so now back to the trying on.